M-E-N-S-T-R-A-T-I-O-N? No. <laughs> I know when egg drops. I'm just imagining a lot of like blood and like stuff just kind of just like floating around and all of these little different cavities and stuff. The uterine walls of the uterus. <laughs> me if I know which one's the uterus. Shed their lining. I'm assuming it's one of the, some, some up here and it just like it's coated in this nice stuff uh, that's ready to hold a baby, a potential baby. A woman's like, are we gonna get pregnant? And then it's like, nope. And then it's, and then it's like, dang it, why did we do all this stuff? And it just sheds all the lining, just sheds it out, just shoots it out. Sometimes there's pieces, most of the time it's just blood. Uh, I've never touched or seen these things used in real life. This is a pad, you put it into your uh, underwear and then it catches the, your debris. I mean, I've seen the commercials where they pour the blue liquid. As you graduate from that and you want something less clunky, you might want to consider inserting something up inside of you. I mean, I guess you like stick these things like in your coochie, right? It looks like one of the party poppers that people open. Uh, this cotton expands to the size of your vagina. This is like modern technology, whoa. It soaks up uh, the vaginal fluid that comes out. This would be perfect for my nosebleeds when I was a kid. There's three basic options. Only two of them are presented here. If you'd like to be more caring for the environment, you can stick a weird cup inside of yourself and catch it like a little drink. A pint. I'm gonna say a pint? I would say like five ounces of blood. That still seems like a lot, because that's almost a pound of blood. Like half a cup. Is it a lot? Like, I, I would hope it's just like a few drops. Wait, how many times a day does that happen? Well, it happens like 24-7. It just keeps coming out? Oh, hell no. Is it because the egg is big? little like clumps of stuff like going through these small holes. If you have flesh inside of you and it's just ripping itself off, it's gonna hurt. Cramps are caused by the muscle contractions that are forcing the fluid out of the uterus. It'd be like when you're at your friend's house and you like clog their toilet and you're like, what do I do? I don't wanna tell anyone, but I don't know how to fix this. I would think that an organ is like popped. Oh, I bitch about it. I would probably do exactly what women do. I would uh, go through my day pretending like nothing was wrong with me, uh, despite the fact that I'm in a lot of pain. I bitch about it all the time. I don't even know what I would do. I'd probably have to like move away from like all of my friends because they'd probably like hate me. I'm sorry that it happens to you, but on the plus side, if you want a baby, someday you get to make one. And that's a whole new level of pain you get to endure.